Epsilon over 20 here, and I'm back with another episode of Mini Redstone Tutorials. Woohoo! And today we're going to be taking a look at bud switches. So, well, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so for let's build, uh, for how to build, we're going to be look taking a look at these three designs. Let's build the first one right over here, like so. This is the easiest one to build. This is a diagonal bud switch. It does work already. That's it. And this is it only if you're on the snapshots or 1.8 because it involves slime blocks. I'll show you how to build one that doesn't involve slime blocks in a second. Okay, so that's the first one. Second one, as you can see, we're going to start over here. We're going to go up here. We're going to place a torch going with a repeater. We're going to put a a glass block right here, sand block, another block with with uh, d uh, dust, and a sticky piston, and there you go. You can see it responds to the updates. And fi our final design is uh, this design right here. What we are going to do is we are going to place a redstone block right over here. We're going to have a piston going into the redstone block another piston facing out it can be uh, a sticky piston or a uh, normal piston that doesn't really matter next we're going to have a block over here with a piece of redstone on it then we're going to have a block here with a torch on top a uh, piece of redstone right here another block and we're going to go up over here and there we go oh no whoops you have to go up one earlier, like so. Um, so now uh, this is kind of burnt out. The torch is burnt up. There we go. There we go. And if you want to invert this, all you need to do is place a uh, uh, repeater right there. And now you can see it's inverted. So that's that. And that's how you build these three designs. Okay, so for how it works, this is going to be the longest part of this video because I'm going to have to explain to you guys what is a bud switch, what is bud power. So basically, here are some ways we can power a piston. We could power the piston directly with a piece of redstone going into it, or we could power a block next to it that goes from here and from below as well. Uh, just a quick note, this is not all the ways these uh, pistons can be powered or bud powered, but it's just the main ways. Now. What is bud power? Bud power is a, 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 a in the beginning was a bug, where if you would power a piston diagonally like this, you could see th this should power the piston. But as soon as we give the piston an update, it gets powered. And now you can see it, it it thinks it's powered. And as soon as we break this redstone, it unpowers. Here's a quick example of it, a better way to show it. You can see as soon as we updated that, it got powered. Now we'll break that, it gets unpowered. So yeah, basically the same thing. And this works for all sides. As well, we have up here, as we, you can see we powered the piston like so. And it opens. And now, uh, we broke this. If we update the piston again, it'll close. And as you can see, this is not bud power. So I can update the piston as much as I want and nothing. But if I go on top, now if I update the piston, it'll get unpowered. Uh, bud powered. So basically, what a bud power actually is is it detects when there is a block update. Like I said, update the piston. That means that a block next to the piston is being changed. So that could be breaking a block, placing a block, and it could be grass growing. So that's that's basically the basics of bud bud switches. Of course, there it, you can go into much more detail, but this is the basis of bud switches. Now what I do here is I just replicate these circumstances only using machines. So for example, here you can see it's being powered diagonally like so. So I don't think, oh uh, yeah, I did set up an example for this. As you can see right here, this block is being diagonally powered. And now it, it gets up, it, it'll extend and the extend So here we go, uh, unextend. It's being diagonally powered. We give it an update. Now here, it also auto resets itself because as soon as this piston g pushes forwards, the the power is no longer next to the piston, so, and then that uh, the piston gets updated by the pushing, and it's like, oh, I'm no longer being powered. Let me retract, and it retracts. 
So every time you update it, it'll retract. Okay, so that's the first one. Second one, this one is uh, 1.7 compatible, and you can use the floor for it, as you can see right here. The, imagine like sticking this in the roof. Like you see, it's completely flush with the roof. So, basically what it does, the, uh, this is being diagonally powered from right over here. You can see this block is in this block. And now, whenever it gets an update, uh, the sand g gets pushed up, which unpowers this, which means this goes back like this. So yeah, basically as I was saying, this gets unpowered, which means the piston uh, ret retracts, and yeah, it's just basically a closed loop like this. Now, for this one, this is a diagonal one that is 1.7 compatible, and as you can see, basically we have an another kind of powering, which is very, uh, which can also be used. As you can see, we actually have, um, wait, this is not a way to show it. I forgot to set this one up. But as you can see, there's a block above it being powered. Here, let, let's actually, wait, did I show this? No, I, I didn't. Um, let's just quickly show this to you. Um, let's see, how will we show it? Like, like so. So as you can see, a block above is being powered. Which means this will be updated. But as soon as this breaks, another update and it comes back. So that's what's going on up here. This piston is being powered from above like so. And so is this one. As soon as we give this an update, this uh, extends, which, clo which unpowers this. And the extension also updates the piston again, which uh, makes it close. So yeah. And you could also have uh, just a piece of redstone dust right here. And then this happens, which is just another way of invert inverting. So yeah, it's not really inverting. It's more of like making it yeah delay. I can't really explain what it does. I'm not very good with butt switches, as you've probably noticed. So yeah, uh, this can be used for a lot of things. Uh, I'll uh, so yeah. Let's take a look at what it can be used for in practical uses. Okay guys, so one practical use for a bud switch is a hidden door. As you can see, there is string on the ground, and this is our actual bud switch right here. That's the piston. So, you can see we can walk through, and it closes. And this is basically the redstone behind it. Basically, we have our bud switch over here, and then we added another slime block, another redstone block. Goes over here, repeater, uh, unpowers the torch, which open, opens the doors. Now, but butt switches can also be uh, extremely extremely useful for um, uh, farming. For example, you can uh, wait until a uh, crop grows, then uh, that could activate a bud switch as soon as it grows and it gets harvested. So there's lots of designs. Just write down uh, YouTube uh, bud switch uh, uses. You can find many many uses for them. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like like down below. Tell me what you think, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.